Well, well, well. Ooh. <laughs> we'll pick that up again in a moment, huh? We'll just... One second. Ooh, hello everybody. Hello everybody, this is RJ Epic here. Back already, yet again, with a second stream of my AEW course correction run in Journey of Wrestling. I haven't uploaded any of this to my YouTube channel yet, and technically this is the third episode in terms of how I'm breaking this up on my YouTube channel, because I have decided that i wanted to sell my youtube channel and i actually put some time into editing and the last stream i split into two parts and what i have planned for this stream should be similar and be broken into two parts as well so with that said i am back and we are here to book all the way through all uh, through all it we are here to book all the way through all in tonight and yes it is tonight where i am it's 11 17 p.m um so with that said, we have a week of go-home shows to book on our way to full gear, and then we're going to book full gear itself. Now, if you missed the last episode, I messed up. Normally, I would do four weekly shows leading up to the pay-per-view, but I only had two selected, the default, and I forgot to change it. So, we only had two weeks to book to prepare us for full gear, one of the, one of the four actual main pay-per-views of the year. So... Saying that, a little bit of a screw up, but we're going to try to make it work. So. Let us. Let us move on. I just want to put, just want to put my phone down here and then I'm going to go right into it. So let's book AEW Dynamite. So we have some interesting stuff going on. Uh, we only have the one hot feud, which is actually Motor City Machine Guns versus FTR. And we have, as you'll see on feuds, there is a, a bar, a certain amount of uh, room you have with a feud before it becomes stale. And because the FTR Motor City Machine Guns feud is hot, I have room, I have room to book this feud for a while. I've got up to eight staleness, which is like one of the higher end, um, one of the higher end numbers for stay on this. So we have some room to work with this feud. So I don't need to rely on booking this one as heavily as much unless I want to. So I can focus around some other feuds and making sure other feuds are started as well that aren't started. So saying that, I am going to start the show. How am I gonna start the show actually? Do I want somebody to get some heat? Actually, I think I know what I want to do. We're going to start this dynamite. Last week, Adam Cole attacked Brian Danielson after his first title defense. So we're going to open this show with Adam Cole. And he is going to cut a soul feud promo against Brian Danielson. And he'll get some heat while he's at it, of course, naturally. So we're going to do that to open the show. And I also want to end the show with Adam Cole getting the win before his big match Sunday against Brian Danielson at full gear. So we need to book him to win against someone. And that someone is going to be. That someone is going to be. Matt Hardy. Works for me. Now, there's going to be plenty of stuff in between those two fins. What's going to happen? I'm not sure. Um, I want... I do want... 
the Kings of the Black Throne to get some momentum leading to the title match Sunday. So who can take a loss here that they can beat? Um, mm -mm. Do, um, I'm trying to find a face team that would be suitable for them to beat. There's actually not a lot of face teams right now, so that's kind of difficult. I don't want Rapongi Feist yet, so. Dudes with attitudes or don't want to use yet either. Hmm. Kind of difficult, actually. What if I do this? They'll face the Dark Order, but they'll specifically face... Preston Fance and Evil Uno. There we go. That's better. And then I want a segment with Swerve and Agoria and Kings of the Black Throne. Because they're facing Sunday and I want them to get some heat for their angle. Um, and that heat is actually going to be a fight. We're going to just do a simple fight. Get some heat going here. There we go. One of the classics to go with now moving on i f i'm pretty sure i don't have anything going on for daniel garcia so dynamite seems like a good place to get that going who is going to face daniel garcia for the pure title on sunday where is daniel there he is i need somebody for daniel garcia who who is a great who is a really good pure wrestler that is a face. Well, I guess Garcia is neutral right now, so we could use a heel. In fact, I might end up going with a heel, but we'll, I'm just kind of looking at the options right now. So, oh, there's an option. Um, you know, I'm. Screw it. I love me some Silas Young, so we're going to, um, we're going to go with this route. He's going to attack Daniel Garcia in an interview, but I want. I do want Silas Young, if I'm going to give him this title match, I want him to have a win going in. So, with that in mind, we need Silas Young to get a win. And who better to give Silas Young a win than Fuego Del Sol? Well, it should be a decent enough match. Let's do it. Screw it. it. Might not feel like a fairy dynamite match, but... We have reasons for this. We're going to do Stepping Up Feud. That's exactly what Silas Yen is going to do by doing this. So, Plus, we do have the goal for Silas Yen and Dutch to become a team. So if I start using at least one of them now, I can try to get an angle going where I uh, incorporate a team here. Um... Do I have a few for Tony Storm? I do not. So I also need somebody for Tony Storm to face at the pay-per-view. Um, Tony Storm. Where is Penelope Ford? Penelope Ford, Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford can beat somebody, right? Who? You know. Madison Rain, might as well put her, put her to work, right? 
this will be a number one contenders match to face the women's champion on Sunday and then Tony Storm where are you Tony 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 I need you and Penelope to start a rivalry here And you're simply going to do a stare down, which is probably the most used segment so far, but it's just how it is. Add a feud here. New challenger. I do, since there's space in between these two matches, I'm going to do something here. And what I want to do is a main event package. We're going to friggin' hype the hell out of Matt Hardy versus Adam Cole. This is a very weird dynamite card. But I'm kind of in an awkward place right now, and I have so many people. I'm just kind of trying to work through. I'm going to try to make Rampage more like a an actual really good AEW card, setting up for a go-home. I'm going to kind of try to make Rampage the go-home show this week. But I, I do have some really good stuff going here, so I'm hoping. Just give me a chance with this. Um... Oh crap, I have my stuff set up wrong. Ah, uh, there shouldn't be space there. I will keep the main event package here. That's fine. Um, I want to have a really good match before the main event. Who am I going to... I think I might give Riho another one going into the pay-per-view. Is what I'm thinking. Um... Or not. I. What do I want to do here? Jack Perry. We're going to put Jack Perry on the card. And he is going to face. Jack Perry is going to face somebody who can give him a good match. It is preferable. Who are we going with here? Jungle Boy Jack Perry needs somebody to beat. I think that person is going to be... I think that person is going to be Tony Nice because he can give a great match while still losing. And we need to continue this Luchasaurus Jungle Boy feud. I need to actually start the actual feud between Christian and Jungle Boy as well. But I haven't gotten to there yet. Where is this feud? Jew Luchasaurus Jack Perry. I'm going to have Luchasaurus. I'm going to have Luchasaurus lay him out after the match. And now we've got a booked dynamite. With that, let's play. Adam Cole is out here to get some heat and to cut a promo on Brian Danielson. Adam Cole opens up. He's like. Who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? <laughs> baby, I should say. And um, from there, he kind of starts sh work shooting around the locker room a little bit. He says, before he left, things were way different. While he was away, healing from injury. He, one of his best friends is gone. Hopefully he'll be back someday. Apparently the elite decided to take their ball and go home. After all out. And I just. With them gone and me with no trio. To go after those trios titles and keep them away from the elite. I'm turning my sights on you Brian Danielson. I'm turning my sights on you. And that AEW World Championship. 
I want that title. I've been here a year now. That title should have been around my waist six months ago. You and me this Sunday, we're doing this. And you're going to learn why you don't mess with Adam Cole, baby. Moving on to our opening matchup of the night, we've got Kings of the Black Throne versus the Dark Order made of Preston Fance and Evil Uno. <laughs> Numbers 1 and 10 working together tonight. So, Kings of the Black Throne are going over as they have a big match Sunday. Which, speaking of the big match, we've got, oh my god, a fight breaks out between Swerve and Our Glory and Kings of the Black Throne. And next up, we've got an exhibition match, or what seems to be an exhibition match, between Silas Young and Fuego del Sol. Silas Young gets a victory in there, really playing his heel, ro his heel role well here. He's the last real man of all elite wrestling in Ring of Honor, and he is here to show that. Daniel Garcia is being interviewed backstage, talking about the upcoming pay-per-view on Sunday, Full Gear. So far, he doesn't have a match, but Daniel, do you see that changing? And then out of nowhere comes Silas Young, and he attacks, brutally attacks Daniel Garcia. He stomps on his arm and hand a bit. So, so this sets up Silas Young. He's like, he kind of yells. There's like, a, there's a microphone nearby that picks him up while he's yelling. He's like, Daniel. You need to see, you need to get in the ring with the last real man. You want to proclaim to be a pure champion of pure wrestling? Get in the ring with me, kid. Main event package plays out. Hype and Matt Hardy versus Adam Cole. Next, we have a women's matchup. Penelope Ford for Madison Rain. Penelope Ford, bringing her husband, recently returned from injury, Kip Sabian, and she gets the win. And with that, Tony Storm comes out and stares Penelope Ford down, points back and forth between the two of them, and holds her title up, single in. She has thrown the gauntlet down for a match on Sunday. Tony Nice with Mark Sterling. Come out to face Jack Perry, the newly rebranded Jack Perry. Um, he's been going through a rough time recently. Christian Cage got a quick win on him that all out. And Jungle uh, due to Luchasaurus turning on him once again. So Jack Perry needs a win here and he gets one. Gives an interesting story boost. Good match. Exactly what I was looking for. But they may have a match Sunday, but Luchasaurus is gonna gonna send a message to Jack Perry, and Luchasaurus lays Jack Perry out before their match on Sunday, and Christian Cage stands menacingly with hand on shoulder, taunting Jungle Boy. And in our main event, we have Matt Hardy versus Adam Cole. I suspect this would be a pretty good match that goes around 20 minutes but Adam Cole squeaks at the victory he gets a Panama Sunrise and a last call so let's see our notes a bit a decent show ratings wise Buddy Mer Buddy Matthews is starting to get over so that's cool I almost called him by his WWE name so pretty good looking show really So, let us look at how this show performed compared to other shows. And we still lost some fans, but not as many as we've been losing. So, I'm a little bit happy to see that. It's, we might be starting to turn around. So, that's nice. We're going to move forward again. There's no messages, so we can move right into AEW Rampage.
So moving on into Rampage, let's book a really good go home show here. We have so Brian Danielson I'm cool is my highest feud in terms of hype now, so that's good. That is our main event feud. That's what we want. Um, Brian Danielson. Do I want them to interact before the pay-per-view? I'm thinking I don't. I think I want this show to open with Brian Danielson reversing the roles, and we're going to have him cut a promo. And... He's going to... He has some words to say. I think... That's the right. No, it's not the right. I don't have him cutting the right promo. I almost had him cut a promo against MJF. I need him to cut a promo against... Against Adam Cole. What next do we have for Rampage? I think we're going to get a little heat behind our... Um, we're going to get a little heat behind our trios titles match. And I think our main event for this is going to be Hangman versus one of the members of Death Triangle. And I think we're going to see Hangman take on... Hainman versus Ray Phoenix is the oh I have Hainman versus Ray Phoenix. I was on the round tab here. Hainman hasn't been booked in a match yet, weirdly enough. So let's get him in a match here. Ray Phoenix Hainman. Do I want this at the main event or do I want this in the middle of the card? Um Um, let's, I'm going to see if I will have any segments I want to run with this, and then I'll make that decision, I think. So, where are we here with, there it is. Do I want any segments here? I don't know, these two are both team faces, technically, so I might not really run anything here. So, I might keep that as my main event and have it separate here. Um, I might have, Adam Page in the Dark Order, I think I'm going to have them cut a face promo, because why not, spirited promo, so that might not be the main event, what do I want as my main event, that's a, um, that's a good question. Um, who, 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 you know what? I might build, I might build Silas Young up again here. I'm not sure. Um, you know what? Let's get Parker Boudreaux on the card. Let's have him destroy somebody a bit. Who's he going to destroy? He is going to destroy... Baron Black. 
get that right in here on the card just have a showcase for him and then we are going to go over to Trent Beretta and Wheeler Yuta get them a promo here we've got a split interview a lot of interviews tonight but that's okay um for our main offense Chris Jericho Chris Jericho is going to face off with Darby Allen when what should be a great match and at the end of the show we are going to have Jericho and Moxley get some Great action going as they do a tense pull apart. And then. I feel like we need a tag team match on the card. Uh, actually no I need a woman's match first before I worry about a tag team. I know what who I wanted to book on one end for the woman. Um, If I can find them here. I might have to search them. Nope there's Jamie Hayter. That's who I wanted. Jamie Hayter. Neutral at the moment. I'm going to give her Ryo Mizunami to face tonight on Rampage. And we're going to do Let's see. Nope, nothing there works. So we are going to We're gonna do this and I'll explain why when we get to it. And now we have two more segments left to book. What are we gonna book here? Let's see. I think I want to book something right here or right here. So we need a tag team match, I'm thinking. Who are we going to see face off here? Jay Lethal and Satnam Singh. Versus the first the blondes. Gets Satnam Sin a match in here. And Jay Leaf on the cards. Never a bad fan. First Deep blondes can put on a decent enough match. And we'll use this to build up our our reach World Heavyweight title match a bit here. And for this, we will use well, we'll tease a fight. We will tease a fight. Okay, we've got our go-home rampage. Let's see how this goes. Let's play this event. We open the show with a f solo promo with Brian Danielson cutting a bit of a promo on Adam Cole here. And we see Brian Danielson isn't very very keen on the idea that he has MJF on one side of him threatening to, to cash in on a title match at any point and then Adam Cole like a coward just attacks him after he defends his title in a hard fought victory that doesn't sit well with Brian 
and Brian vows that someday he's going to show Adam Cole what it takes to really be a champion. And to be a real champion, you need the heart of a dragon. And if there's one thing he's shown repeatedly is that he has just that. Brian Danielson isn't here to be a transitional champion. He is here to take AEW to the promised land. And Adam Cole, MJF, anybody back there isn't going to stop that anytime soon. We move on to our opening match. What should be a great matchup with Ray Phoenix facing off against Hayman Adam Page. And Adam Page is going to get the victory tonight, given his team some momentum going into Sunday. And after the match, Hayman brings Dark Order and Ren, and all three of them cut a, a good spirited promo, rallying the troops for Sunday. They say they lost their last trio's championship match when they faced Elite at All Outs. They foul that will not happen again this Sunday. If it happens again, well, maybe we just aren't cut out to be together, says Hangman. So, with that said, we have everything going a Sunday. Jay Lethal and Saddam Singh versus the Varsity Blondes. Jay Lethal and Saddam Singh are going to get a pretty impressive win here. And then after the matchup, Claudio Castagnoli comes out, gets in the rain. Uh, Jay Lethal uh, tells Satin, Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt tell Lethal to tell um, Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt tell Satin to get out of the ring. And then uh, Jay Lethal looks like he's going to square off with Claudio before he cowardly ducks out of the ring. Should be a good match on Sunday. Parker Boudreaux versus Baron Black. This is a showcase for Parker Boudreaux's strength. He's going to pretty easily win. They put on a decent match up here. We have a split interview between Wheelie Yuta of the Blackpool Kong Combat Club and Trent Beretta of the Best Friends. This gets pretty heated. Trent Beretta brings up, brings up how could Wheeler Yuta be such a piece of shit. To just go against his friends like he did and leave them for the Blackpool Combat Club. He never trusted the slimy kid. He's wanted to kick his ass since the day he came back and fouls to on Sunday. Willa Yuta says, you can say all that, Trent, but I want to see you back it up when you get in the rain with me. I've been better than you for a long time, and I'm going to show you. How much better I am than you on Sunday. And Trent, maybe don't bring your mother because she may not want to see this. Ryu Mizunami versus Jamie Hader. Jamie Hader gets an impressive win, giving her some momentum. Uh, so far, Jamie Hader has no match for Sunday. Her and Britt Baker have some heat. We know that Britt's been wanting to work it out, um, but has so far been unsuccessful. Speaking of, Britt Baker's coming out through the rain. She wants to make up with Jamie. She forced herself on Jamie for a hug. All of a sudden, Britt Baker kicks her in the gut, throws her back against the mat, and starts just pounding on her on the mat. Britt Baker has, had a, has shown her true colors. And fully accepted this fate and turned on Hater herself um, after Hater's attitude towards the last couple weeks since All Out. So, it looks like we may have a grudge match going for Sunday. So, let's see if that gets booked. In our main event, we have Chris Jericho versus Darby Allen. Chris Jericho is going to squeeze it a win here. They a really good match with some cool spots, as you'd expect. And then after the match, we have Chris Jericho and Mox fighting. Some officials have to come out to pull them apart. And that's where our show ends.
Now, moving on, we still have an ROH show the book before the pay-per-view. Actually, let's not, not move on too quick. Oh, yeah, we are, actually, because I don't actually have any notes for that one. Nothing was hard or anything. We still lost quite a few fans, but hopefully we're starting to get some momentum going on our side. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. But we're going to move on to the ROH Weekly Show. Um, let's see what we are going to book here, because I'm not entirely sure. I know we are probably going to do a segment with FTR and the Motor City Machine Guns. I think they need to get their hands on each other before Sunday, personally. Get some excitement going for the feud. Um, I think this fight is going to happen after... The Motor City Machine Guns um, face off with someone here. Who will they face off with? Let's see. There's not like a ton of options, technically. I need a neutral team or a heel team is what I need, so. I guess, let's just get the infantry out there. No, I, that's just the main event matchup I'm booking. I want something decent. Um... I don't really want to go Motor City Machine Gun Briscoes in a cold match. So this is kind of difficult. Uh, maybe I'll have to do heel versus heel, which won't be that good. Um, I really don't want to, but I might have to. Unless I beat somebody I've already beat, which wouldn't be great, but I'm willing to if I need to. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just do heal versus heal. It's not going to be great for alignment, but we kind of have to do. Oh, it actually is great for alignment. I'm guessing the Motor City Machine Guns probably have some natural face traits to them, which means they'll perform better as faces. So, oh, it's because I have the infantry in there still. You know what? I can I can actually keep them. That's fine. A triple threat. A three-way dance, you might say. In fact, I'm going to turn it into a three-way dance by making it an elimination match. We'll do an ECW-style match here, which kind of suits it suits ROH to an extent, so I'm fine with doing that. So, um, How is this show going to open up? Uh, I'll probably just open up with a match instead of a segment. So... I'm thinking I'm thinking let's get you know what let's get Wheeler Yuta on the show give him a win before Sunday especially with some uh, with my plans I have going so who is gonna who is going to face Wheeler Yuta tonight? I think Peter Avalon might be my guy for this matchup. They had some he they had some heated words shared on Rampage. And uh, I think Trent took issue with what Wheeler Yuta had to say. And that's going to be shown in an aftermatch attack. Boom. There we go. Still have plenty. I will book a production segment right now to hype up the event for Sunday. So we get some hype on full gear. We'll put that before the main event. That's fine. Um, ROH. We are booking ROH. Who do we want on here? Um, I think... It might be a good plan to book. We might book the embassy tonight. 
We're going to book the embassy versus the nightmare family. Which should actually be a pretty fun match in reality. And after that happens. We are going to. Have. The embassy. Are going to cut a few promo against Dalton Castle and the boys. After matchup. Uh, next up, I need some heat on this TV title match, so I just need to figure out how I'm going to go about that. Um, I think how I'm going to go about that is I might just have them. A promo battle. And before that, I think I'm going to have Joe in his first match. He's not going to defend the title. I don't think he's just going to have a match here to prepare for Sunday. And I'm going to have him face off with somebody half decent. And it's going to be Josh Woods. That should actually be a pretty good match. I might keep the title on the line. You know what? I am going to keep the title on the line. Screw it. Screw it. First four, first television title defense tonight on ROH TV. And then... We have two more segments we can book. So, I want... I want lethal. I think I want lethal in a match. A singles matchup. I want him to look ready. Ready for Sunday. Ready to take on the man Claudio Castagnoli. We're going to have some fun tonight. And we're going to book Jay Lethal versus Dan Housen. And then... Claudio will just come out and hold this title in the air and we'll see them to face off on sunday card is booked let's play the roh weekly show i'm booking this pretty fast actually i might actually not split this stream into two parts but we'll see i'm not sure quite honestly um one moment oh actually Never mind. So we're going to open this show here. We booked Wheeler Yuta versus Peter Avalon. And Wheeler Yuta is going to get his display. Uh, he's going to display some great wrestling here against Peter Avalon. And he is going to go over. And he wants to show here that he is ready for a Trent on Sunday. Now Trent is angry. He may be the face, but he's had enough. And he's going to attack Will Yuta before their match. As he did not appreciate the words Will Yuta had to say in their split interview on Rampage. Smojo for Josh Woods for the television championship. Smojo is going to defend his title. He's back in ROH and he's, he's back in ROH and AEW. And he's here to stay. He is. He will make Josh Woods tap out with the Kakina Clutch. Joe and Sean Spears take some verbal jazz at one another. They they try to tear each other down a bit. Samoa Joe's like, well, how am I supposed to take you seriously? For your for most of your AEW run, you've been relying on a chair, man. What are you the chairman of? You weren't even the chairman of your own group. Gets a pop of off Minute Mansion in the Pinnacle. He Joe points out how what is he even doing back here? Once you MJF a little bitch, he seemed to dump your ass and move on. So where does that leave you? 
Sean Spears tries to fire it back. He um, says, you want to talk about where people were? Where were you these last few months? I like champions who defend their titles, not people who go and film TV shows and then come back months later and still have their title and make they bloat their run and make it look so prestigious. You're not a prestigious champion. You aren't a prestigious champion. You've defended that but what, two, three times? This Sunday, maybe I ought to just take that strap and take that heavy burden from you. I have a kid coming. I'm going to show this kid that their dad is a champ. And we're going to move on. I'm just freeballing these promos, by the way. So it is sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And I apologize. We have the embassy versus the nightmare family. And the embassy with Prince Nana are going to go over. We're trying to build them. The embassy cut a promo on Dalton Castle and the boys. Prince Nana, I would imagine, would probably be cutting it. But Brian Cage, maybe some too. They foul to destroy the puny fucks on Sunday. And, well... If they happen to take the boys out of the equation, happen to break Dalton Castle's back again, then business is business. Jay Lethal versus Dan Evans. And Jay Lethal is going to go over here. He has a big match Sunday. He hits that lethal injection. If you And if you don't avoid, avoid, avoid that, then the match is over. So... Dan Housen goes down for the three count. Claudio comes out, stares down Lethal. Lethal doesn't automatically flee right away this time, but they kind of just acknowledge one another and that this is probably going to be a hell of a matchup. Claudio holds up that title and gives a smile. We have an event package, hyping up full gear and the matches we will see on Sunday. Next up, we've got a triple threat tag team elimination match, otherwise known as the good old-fashioned three-way dance. We get a three-way dance going on here. Fantastic stuff. Motor City Machine Guns with, a dis with an impressive display come out on top. Really good matchup, actually. Um, It did bring them their hotness down a little bit to work with lower workers but it's we'll we'll hope that doesn't screw us over too much in the end during the matchup motor city machine guns were playing mind games and they actually won the match off of a big rig uh, the um the uh infantry were eliminated first and that left the workhorsemen and motor city machine guns uh, once they were in the rain, pretty good stuff. But to Motor City Machine Guns uh, hit the big rig on the uh, on Anthony Henry, I think is his name, um, and got their win. And FTR have seen enough, and they come and have a brawl to end the ROH Weekly Show. And we we kind of just cut the black off the brawl um, in the middle of it. And then from there, the show ends. Let's see if we have any notes for the show. Chris Saban's starting to get over. That's great. Uh, Alex Shelley's Detroit-powered gimmick progressed from good to mark out. That, yeah, we do. We Depending on how we book people, their gimmicks will progress up or down, uh, depending. Elimination match effect decreased for this event. We did get some creative points, extra creative points, from a holy shit moment happened where Alex Shelley speared J.D. Drake through the barricade. So the fans were going crazy. His, he's gained an overness boost of 2%, that, which probably helped him to start to get over. ROH World Tag Team title saw a little bit of boost there. Our reputation went down. We are now rep 7. That's really not great. We need to fix that with full gear. We'll hopefully get back up to 8. ROH World Television Tag Team saw a move up there a bit. So, yeah. 
hopefully full gear can put our rep back up a bit. I mean, we could have lost more fans, so I'm not too disappointed. I don't know why NXT is doing so well. But I get the whole WWE product's pretty hot right now, and it might be programmed to show that a bit. Although, Stardom did well too, so that didn't help us. ROH is booked against some tough competition. Friday Night Smackdown and Stardom. That's a bit rough. So now, we have reached full gear. We have a lot of segments to fill. Let's see how we fill them. We have a lot of people actually coming back really fast, so this should be interesting. Let's... What I like to do when I'm booking a pay-per-view is I like to get all my matches on the card and then fill around them. So we're just going to kind of click some stuff in and I'll change the order around. Bum, 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 we might not have any space for segments after this. I'm literally, I'm literally not going to have space. I don't even have space for all the matches that I have. Well, that's that's rather unfortunate, really. I'm going to have to possibly take some stuff off the card. I don't know. What can I take off this card that I haven't really built up as much that can afford to go off the card? I think Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs is going to have to get bumped, unfortunately. Mm, that's rough. I think the ROH six-man tag match is going to stay off, too, because, quite honestly, that's not important enough. They're pretty lucky I'm even booking them at all, to be honest, because one trio title was enough, and I have two to deal with. Um, honestly, I'm half tempted to... <laughs> I'm half tempted to friggin put them together <laughs> quite honest so okay what is the order i want these in um there is a specific segment i want on this show which is gonna see we are gonna have the elite return after the trio's tag match and I will spoil now that the winners of the trio's tag is going to be Death Triangle. And I do have an angle set for Adam Page in the Dark Order. So don't worry about that. We are going to do a segment called... Um... Mm, do I want them to attack? They're not heels anymore, so... I might just have a surprise return and deselect. Yeah, we'll do a surprise return. There we go. We'll set up the feud on Dynamite or something. Before I go any further, I realize I'm not making the same mistake again. Oh, that was an accident. I made a mistake, but not the one I was thinking of. 